Let's welcome back. I've got the whole boulder thing done. We're down in the cave. Went back and got the, uh, the HM that I missed, which happened to have been Whirlpool, I think. Went back and got that, so... Oh, that was a jinx. Sweet. Not really gonna catch it, though, but sweet, it's a jinx. Let's kill it! But I got that whole thing done. You didn't have to watch me push boulders around or do anything stupid like that. Slide around the ice for a while. Oh, that's probably pretty bad. That's probably pretty bad. Took like 15 health, something like that. But at any rate, yep, we're we're back to uh, get out of this cave, go to the next town, do some do some cool stuff. Let's see what's going on. What is this thing? We got a never melt ice. I wish I had ice that never melted. I would be rich, kind of. If I could just mass produce it. I'm sure, it already exists. Dry ice, dry ice melts eventually, right? Dry ice sucks. Great, we have another sliding part. Awesome, cannot wait. Maybe we don't have another sliding part. Okay, well, I don't care about that item over there. Hopefully it's not something I need. Otherwise, then I'm probably going to have to care about it. So, let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. Aw, oh, damn it. It's too much slidey. Not enough getting the hell out of here E. PP up, awesome, sweet. Could have used that on my Eevee when I was trying to evolve it. Oh well, I had to buy a bunch of them. Oh sweet, we're out of here. Yay! Yeah. Oh no, it's a trainer, I think. What are you doing? Wow, you came through the ice path? Wasn't a trainer. You must be a real hotshot trainer. So this chick just waits out there and she's like, Oh man, you're a great trainer. Blackthorn City, that's the city. That is the city. Who's this broad? Dragonair is cute, but I don't have it. Do you have Dragonair? Want to trade it for my ride on? Nope. I do not want to trade you. Because I don't have what you want, and I don't care. Voices in my head, huh? I'm listening to my radio. Okay, that's kind of weird. What's going on, townsfolk? There was just there was this move I just had to teach my Pokemon. So I got the move deleter to make it delete an HM move. Cool. Deep inside, far off Indigo Plateau, is the Pokemon League. I hear the best trainers gather there from around the country. Word on the street. Wow, you and your Pokemon are really close. Thanks, dude. Word on the street is that the Indigo Plateau is the place where people Pokemon battle. I had not known. I was, uh, I was unaware of this. I was just kind of, I was just kind of going on a vacation, seeing all the cities, and coincidentally leveled up my Pokemon and got all these gym badges. Do you sell Ultra Balls? I hope you do. The one fucking thank you, finally. Too bad I don't have a lot of money. So I used it all on the stupid stuff for Eevee. Damn stubborn ass thing didn't want to evolve. Nox Repel keeps weak Pokemon away from you. It's the longest lasting of the Repel sprays. And you can't buy Max Revive, but it fully restores a fainted Pokemon. Beware, it won't restore PP. The power points need for moves. It will not. He is correct. Okay, so that's pretty much just a path to get back to New Bark Town. This is probably the move deleter. Yep, he is the move deleter. I do not need you to delete a move just yet, so it's all good. And we haven't talked to you yet, I don't think. Are you going to make your Pokemon forget some move? No, why is everyone sucking on this dude's balls? Oh, the Pokemon move deleter lives here. He lives here. He's right over there. There's his house. Claire and Lance trained here to hone their skills as trainers. All right. They really love the move deleter. He is like the guy to be in this town. Alright, dude. I'm gonna be a dragon user like Claire. Alright. Cool. Hey, who's this dude? Just chilling out here. Our gym leader is waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. I see they have people just employed to, like, sit around and do nothing and just tell people about the uh, move deleter. And, um... And, yeah. Pretty much just meet you outside caves and... This dude's talking a lot. Alright. Okay, I know I have, like, Ice Punch somewhere, though I'm not sure if anyone can even learn it, which sucks. Did I teach it? Nope. I'm fairly sure no one can learn this. Fairly sure no one can learn this. Great. Well, I know, uh... uh I know Dragon... or not, uh, not Dragon. Gyarados. I know Tom knows Icy something. He knows something. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. 
Your first battle against dragons, I'll show you how tough they are. Alright, well, let's move on. Cool Trainer Paul would like to battle. Hopefully, hopefully things will go well. I may or may not. Ugh, these things are like resistant to fucking everything, I swear. Yep. Except for like ice. And it was a critical hit. Thank you for that. Of course I would get paralyzed. These things are resistant to everything except for like ice. They're resistant to fire, uh, grass, what else? They're resistant to a lot of shit. Cannot remember. Really? A level 34 Dratini did all of that damage to me? Bullshit. Bullshit. I think that does a set amount of damage anyway, doesn't it? Yes, I will. Is that one of those moves that does a set amount of damage? Tom will probably be the guy to be in this gym, considering he knows a nice move. I'm fairly sure he knows an ice move. What does he know? He knows icy wind. He knows the icy wind. Let's see how well this goes. Let's... Uh, well, that was a critical hit. I can't really... Can't really gauge much off of that. The guy had three Dratinis, for real. Are you serious, or what? Because I don't think you're serious. Can't tell if serious. I need that picture. Let's see. Ah, oh, well. It almost killed it, and its speed fell. I like how they're just paralyzing all of my Pokemon. They're, they're not doing much else besides that. Let's see, Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage is doing how much damage to me? 40? I think it does 40 damage set. I imagine. Looks pretty suspicious. What am I going to have, 39 now? 39! 40 damage. Alright. Good to know. Good to know. So it's like uh, Sonic Boom, but twice as good. I think Sonic Boom just does 20. Well, I'm going to go heal up <laughs> after that. I believe Sonic Boom only does 20. Still kind of annoying. Especially when you have Graveler or something out and just does 20 damage with that piece of crap move. It's like, dude, come on, it's Graveler. It's a fucking rock. Give me a break. Thing's got so much defense, it's a rock. Doesn't matter though, Sonic Boom, you know. Alright, I'm trying to tell my story here, and Nurse Joy won't quit talking to me about how she wishes I would come back. Pretty sure she's got a thing for your Pokemon character. Even though you're like 11. Somewhere around that age range. Alright, who else? Let's surf in the lava. Do, do they realize how dangerous this is? Just lava sitting around here? Like, how would you not realize how they Oh, damn, we're gonna have to do strength bullcrap. Ugh. Don't give me miniature puzzles in the gym. I disagree. We go through rigorous training under Claire. I can't afford to lose. I would like to go through rigorous training under Claire, if you know what I mean. I'm not talking about Pokemon training. I'll let that... I'll let that... Seedra? I'll let that sink in for a little bit. Seedra! Even though it's dragon, I imagine it's part dragon, it knows it can learn dragon moves. It's still gonna be weak to Razor Leaf because it's water. So GG Cedra. QQ, thank you for coming out. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the Razor Leaf show. Urg, I'm so disgusted. Why? Cause you got one hit by Leaf Neck? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have to do some strength, uh some strength here. That's what we're going to be doing. It's not as if we all use Dragon-type Pokémon. My policy is to use Pokémon that are stronger than Dragon Pokémon. Then why are you in a Dragon Gym? That is my question to you, Cool Trainer Cody. Horsey? Okay, so he's going to use... He's going to use Pokémon that are quote-unquote stronger than Dragon Pokémon, but they just learn Dragon moves. He's probably going to have a Seedra. Something stupid. Everyone's gonna have Dratinis and Dragonairs and Dragonites in this gym, and this dude's just gonna have a Horsey and a Seedra. Am I wrong? Seedra. Yep. Can you get a Kingdra in gold? I think you can. I think Claire might have one. Come to think of it, I think she had one in Heart Gold at least. I don't know. I don't remember. 
at any rate, go go Leaf Knack. Leveling up. Level 41 and all that cool stuff. Trying to learn Light Screen. I'll probably pass on that. Yes, I will I will pass on the light screen. Well, Coat, did you just call me special? That's funny. Well, now we just have to uh, strengthen it up in here. Do, do, do. Gotta knock all these boulders down. To do what? I don't remember. Maybe it stops the flow of, of some lava. Alright. How is this gonna work? I have no idea. I have no idea how this is gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to do it through that, I'll tell you that much. Cause I need to... Yep, I need to get to... That one. So we'll come back to that. So I'm gonna have to reset that. And, uh... This one will be... Fairly simple, I imagine. Alright, there we go. Got that boulder. That boulder's down there. Oh, it, it gives us it gives us an ability to to walk. I know that's a hard ability, but oh damn it, I gotta use strength again. All right. Yes, I don't think we can use this one. I think this is the one we're gonna have to push away, so we can get to this guy. So we can let's just try pushing this up here. I don't feel like scoping the place out. Look at that. It was that was simple. All right. Well. Good job. Good job. When we come back next time, we will fight that dude and then go on to Claire, and I will probably do some grinding up in between. So, we'll be back in a little bit.